fucking no road. We're not no gangsters. We revolutionaries. And that's how we rock. topic but it's a great topic bro because finally finally we have seen some justice in the in the department when it comes down to the lawsuit and illegal um litigations and abuse police abuse we finally got some justice for an individual who was beat paralyzed man he wasn't beaten paralyzed but he ended up getting paralyzed and after that they abused his brother they dragged him they beat him y'all just check out the b-roll man and after this we want to see y'all comments leave your comments up top man let us know how you feel how did the story touch you uh what if it was your uncle what if it was your brother uh, your dad hey man it's a sad story but at the end of the day the brother he prevailed and he came out a winner man and the crazy part about it is how do you now enjoy 30, 40 million dollars for the rest of your life and you're in a wheelchair? That's the shitty part about it. How do you really enjoy it now? How do you travel, you know, uh, function, the whole nine? Because the brother was paralyzed from his chest on down. Wait a minute. Maybe his lower functions still functioned then. That kind of that may make a point there. Huh? What you think, huh? If you paralyzed from the head to neck on down from your shoulder, and your lower body still got movement, or was well, actually paralyzed. But when you, you think that the essentials will work? No, he, he no. It's, it say he paralyzed from the chest down, so that his bottom parts and all that shit still functional. No, damn. Only, only thing functional is is uh, neck in his head. Damn man, so his whole body is just it's gone. What yeah, happened yeah, yeah. was, I, I believe he he shattered the nerves in the spinal cord or something, bro, from that impact. Let's B-roll, unless you have something to say real quick before we B-roll. What do you have to say, huh? No, I'm just going to give a, a, a little background. It's, uh, the man's name is Randy Cox, man. This happened in, Connect this happened in Connecticut, uh, where uh, back June 19th of 2022, uh, he was arrested and put chest down in a police van. They did. I, I, I don't believe they buckled him up or anything. They just put him in. They just put him in a police van, and I think they was breaking hard, and that's how he hit. Uh, he came down head first, and that's how he became paralyzed. B so when you say when you say he was breaking hard, that means the officer hit his brakes hella hard. Yeah. Whoa. So yeah, the officers. Yeah, the yeah the officers was breaking hard. Yeah, so but you know officers, five five officers got charged in this case. Five oh. five five officers was Gosh, charged. Christ. Yeah, yeah, over this over this incident, and but two got fired, and I'm assuming uh, they, I'm, they were responsible then, huh? I'm thinking this probably was the two that was driving the van. That's the only thing that makes sense. But here we go. Paralyzed. In a police van, watch. Warning. Randy Cox was at a block party when New Haven police arrived in response to a weapons complaint. Officers arrested Cox, who they say is an ex-felon and was carrying a firearm illegally. As they were transporting him to jail, authorities say Officer Oscar Diaz was speeding and came to a sudden stop. Get TV land and rewind right quick so we can see how he fell. You right, Unc. He was not strapped in with the seatbelt buckles on him or nothing. And no, that, that no. police was fine in that damn van, man. He had to. Let me get it right at that spot. As a result, Cox's head is... Hold on. Authority say Officer Oscar Diaz was speeding and came to a sudden stop to a... Well, you said it right there. He was speeding. Straight speed. Why else was he horning on his horn? trying to tell Patriots to get out the way. I ain't hear no sirens on that damn van. Uh, nope. Uh, woo, 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 or nothing. Fuck you well, doing? Well, it's transport. They, 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 they don't supposed to be having uh, the emergency light song. They just transport, and that's it. Okay, my point. That's my point. So why the fuck you speeding? 
They don't yeah. speed to go transport no nigga to jail. Yeah. You drive. Yeah. What the fuck he speeding for? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Avoid an accident. As a result, Cox's head is slammed against the back of the van, which had no seatbelt. I can't get out. I can't oh, hear you. Oh. Despite Cox's repeated calls for help, it took the officer almost four minutes to check on him. Can you move at all? I can't move. Before calling an ambulance to meet him at the police station. When the van arrived, several other officers were waiting and began berating Cox to get out. Move your leg. Sit up. Move over. Why are you listening, bro? Sit up. I can't move. You're not even trying. Oh, About three minutes later, they dragged Cox feet first out of the van. Oh, huh? You just drank too much. Before officers forcefully hoisted him into a wheelchair. Oh, Cox shit. is processed and dragged into a holding cell. About ten minutes. Hey, listen. You guys, TV land. You see what they just did? Oh, you must have stepped away for a second. Hey, look. They. When, when they went to the back of the car, right, huh? Yeah. They thought he was playing and shit. Tell me, get up. Get up. He said, I can't. I can't. He was like, oh, I can't move. Man, they turned him around and just grabbed his brother's legs and drew him out of the fucking van, man. Yeah. So you know what that means? Blah, 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 blah. He just hit the ground. He hit everything. So there go another injury. Because he, well, couldn't, he couldn't break his fall with his arms, huh? They dragged him out. Well, his the whole first body, man. They dogged the brother, man. Then they put him in the holding tank. The heifer gonna say, "You're you're not trying to move, move." <laughs> and they laugh. You can hear them chuckling and shit, bro. It's how devious these some bitches be, man. It's why I say I can't. St- bro, I can't well, you know, the, the you know, you know, the first the first thing they tell you doing a neck injury is not to move the person. That's, That's right. So so once they moved them with a neck in, uh with a neck injury they already messed him up they they, they, they he was he was, once they yanked him out it was over with it, it cuz they called the ambulance they should have waited yeah not to mention up uh, uh said what you said I just want to add this to it real quick you keep going they didn't put a spring on his neck nothing yeah to to even wait for the ambulance to come they got emergency kits in that goddamn van yeah but at the same at the same in, in the same token the police officer that was driving the van heard the injury, heard him yelling, saying that he can't move. The police officer that was driving said that, I'm a, I, that he called the ambulance to meet him at the police station. Once, once he did that, they shouldn't even move him until the ambulance, the uh, until the EMT showed up and checked him out. But the first time his first call out. The police clowned him, man. Oh, huh? yeah, yeah. Oh, well, huh? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't move. Okay, well, we're going to call the ambulance to meet us there. Let's be roll up. Huh? Damn, this is cold. It's man. after the I van arrived at the station. <laughs> he was placed on the floor where an officer shackled his legs, but he couldn't move. As he was paralyzed from the chest down. Difficult to watch. And when you learn more of the details I'm about to unpack, well, see what you think. $45 million settlement has been reached for the mistreatment. That's an understatement of Richard Randy Cox, the man paralyzed. In the back of that police van following a June 2022 arrest in New Haven, Connecticut. According to police, this marks the nation's largest misconduct settlement in history. I even hate the word misconduct. It's far beyond. Video footage showed Cox begging for help. The officers accusing him of being drunk. She's a newscaster, bro. She over there hella emotional. Yeah, you can see yeah. it on her face. You can hear it in her voice, and you can see it in her face. You see how she almost cried? Yeah. She was like, this a, and she looked like a sister. She was like, this is an understatement talking about uh, 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 abuse, uh, lawsuit abuse. She said, that was an understatement, man. They done, they might as well killed the brother, man, the way they did him. Yeah. It, yeah, it, 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 it definitely was an understatement for us they using the word dirty, abuse. Bro, they did him dirty. See, you, 
you see how shit start off with us, right? Like now, I'm sure they was gonna try to they try they I know they tried their damn best to justify, but he had a gun, he's an ex-con, he had a gun, illegal. Yeah, he had all that he did. You right. You fucked up from the moment when you threw that man in that van and you didn't follow protocol procedures by buckling that man up in that damn truck. Y'all threw his ass in there and got on up out of there, man. Simple. So you're to blame for your own faults for not, for, for not following protocol and not following procedures. If you would have followed procedures and protocol, the department wouldn't be in this position right now today, and that brother wouldn't be paralyzed. He'd be going to prison for his gun charge to do his three, four, five, six years, whatever, how many times he was going to get, and be coming home, and he wouldn't be paralyzed. You some bitches are accountable for your own damn actions. It's simple. That was not an emergency van. That was not a, a ambulance van. You didn't have sirens on that van. Why in the freak was you speeding to do a transport? It's simple. So yeah, you, all five of them. How was it five though? You mean it must have been back up on the scene then too? Uh uh. No no no. The police station. The jail. No no. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. The jailers. There you go. There you go. There you go. So the jailers. two police and the jailers did, because the jailers was the, the one that I ain't never in my life, bro. Ever, ever, ever. But but besides one time, that was that was when I was in Wyandotte County Detention Center in Kansas City for a kidnap ransom robbery. Me and my little homie little Donald, and they threw me in the motherfucking chair. And that was the only time in my life out of all the shit I done done, bro. And and these motherfuckers try to break you. I ain't never ever heard being thrown in a, a holding tank and they throw shackles on your ankle. Yeah, they shackle you down. I, I, that I'm used to. But the ankles? And he paralyzed. Not to see if he could walk. I still ain't seen that one where they throw you in the holding tank and they throw shackles on your ankle. Unless you getting ready to get transported or transferred to and forth to court and you coming up out of high power or junior high power. That's the only time you're going to be shackled down from head to toe, waist and ankles. Or you escapee. You feel me? Other than that, he was a regular civilian who got arrested for a gun charge. And now he's paralyzed from the results of this reckless driving ass officer. Why did they put shackles on that paralyzed man's ankles, bro? That's what's killing me right now. I like like. Why would the jailers even do some dumb shit like that? That's unheard of. The, they, you heard the man say, I can't move. Y'all done dragged the man into a cell. He's laid stressed out like this, bro. He can't move his arms. Shit. What are they going to do? You could have just closed the gate and left him in there. No, y'all made it worse. Him. You shackled this brother down, man. You shackled his ankles down, man. That's why the lady said it was pure torture. This shit was... A, it, in, in, this, in a state of history, they say this is the worst being of a lawsuit because of the way they handle the situation. Man, niggas got police and shot and killed our people out here, and the lawsuits didn't go through. Some of the lawsuits is still going on right now on the day, man, for decades. It's families who've been fighting these systems for decades and ain't got paid. Let's be roll huh? I want to say something, but the man, uh, Randy Cox, yes, yes, he he was awarded this $45 million settlement uh, from the New Haven, from the city of New Haven, Connecticut. But the man is paralyzed from the, from, from the chest down. That $45 million cannot equal to the pain and suffering that he has to go through for the rest of his life. It's no way. It's no way because now he's going to have he he's going to have to have special care, a special nurse. Uh, uh, he can't he 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 can't you uh uh when he he he's going to have to have assistance to use the bathroom, the one and the two. Damn. Can't never can't never drive anymore. Damn. No no type of uh no type of intimate relationship. I was just finna say that, and it doesn't say nowhere near where he had a wife or a woman in his life, so that's even worse. Him. So that means some stranger got to come take care of this man for the rest of his life and get paid. Yeah, the only I think the only thing that um the, it says that uh from the chest down. So I'm wondering, can he still move his arms? If 
that's why the, that's why I asked you up when I said the report said he was paralyzed from the chest down, which means that means he can't move his neck then. Huh? That means he's gonna be in one of them chairs where his neck is, you know, he can't move his because he can't do this. So if he can't do this, his spleen has rupture in it. That means his back, he can't do this neither. Nor it is. So that's why I said, okay, if he if they if they um if the status was that they said he was paralyzed from the chest, then that means the waist, he still should have traction then. He's he's supposed to have still movement in his legs or 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 he still be able to use his private part. But you just explained and said he gonna have to have help using the bathroom, one and two. Yeah, one and two. Because he can't hold his own wee wee, or they gonna put a, a colostomy on him. The colostomy is bad. Bro, on he's like, where he got to use the bathroom. They're gonna have to because he has no feeling down there. So he's not he's not he's not gonna know when it's time to use the bathroom. Yeah, like somebody somebody just said Jersey boy from Jersey, shout out. He said, Yeah, and that's where the 45 meal comes in at because he's gonna have to have around the clock. There you go. Here forever. He's gonna have that round the clock care forever. So that means he's gonna, he gonna have to probably have a shift of nurse, at least two to three nurses. It's gonna be working for this guy taking care of him because no one nurse can do it. Cause that means she gonna have to live in with him 24 seven. So that he gonna have two, at least two to two different nurses if it's around the clock, 12 and 12. And it's funny that Jersey, uh, Jersey, uh, Jersey boy, he said that because when the, one of the last statements, statements said was what I shared with her is that while this settlement cannot bring Randy back to his original state, when he entered the police transport vehicle, that my hope is that it provides Randy the future medical support and other support that he would need. What other support? Eh? If a woman comes to his life, it's pretty fake. She wants the money. Randy can't do nothing no more. So get out of here with smile. Oh, I fell in love with him, the person. I don't want to hear that shit. Unless you really a, a god spirit woman that God sent to Randy. And it ain't about no money, no nothing. You really, you there to help this brother spiritually because God says so. Man, he ain't gonna have no wife. He ain't gonna have no woman, bro. And not to mention if his brain ain't really functional no more. How about that, huh? We don't even know if he, his speech is parallel, if he can still talk the way he used to talk or his brain is really functional no more. Because normally when you suffer something like that, the brain takes an impact too, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I I seen cases also where people that was uh uh paralyzed like this that they slowly their body slowly deteriorates. Exactly. Damn man. Hey man, listen man. Hey, shout out to my T baby man for sending this story in this morning, man. Shout out to T baby for sending this story in. It was a great story, man. Great story, and I love the fact that we touched it, bro, because. These are the type of things that we talk about, you know, off camera, you and I all the time. And these are the type of things we need to share with our people and share with one another, bro, so that we can be aware. I love when the people come on, they make their comments like my boy Jersey boy said, man. And then Jersey just made another comment. Uncle, he said, can you imagine the mental state he's going to be in, man, for the rest of his life? Oh, man. You feel me? Yeah. Hey, man, you tapped in, you tuned in right now, man, to ROE 2023, man. Spiff DTV, man. ACX Current News, Watch Satellite News, man. We bringing you some news you can use, Jack, especially for this Friday, man. Hey, it's the weekend, man. It's BT weekend. To everybody out there in my city, man, all the travelers that's coming into the city, man, y'all be careful out here in the streets, man, because it's real in the field, man. It's real wolves out here, and it's real in the field. Don't get it fucked up and twisted in L.A. coming out here with all that cocky shit, man. Come out here, handle your business. Feel me? Take care of your business and handle your own. Don't get caught up, man. I'm telling you, as a fair warning from a real trill double OG, man, from my city, man. Everybody stay safe during the BT weekend. Y'all youngsters have fun. Do y'all thing, man, and stay safe, man. What's up, Uncle? Let's keep rolling, baby. What you have to say? Nah, man. It, it, one, one, one shining light for this whole story is at least the police officers that was involved in this incident got uh, 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 Randy Cox got justice on that. He got justice on that because they filed criminal charges on all five and two of them got fired from the department, but they all five are facing criminal charges. 
Oh, word? Yeah. Yeah, let's get a clap in for that one, man. And a damn bomb, huh? Give us a bomb uh, for that one, huh? All, 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 all five, you know something? I just got something. Uh... Five, just like I said, five officers, including those who were five, faced criminal charges in the case. All have pleaded not guilty. I don't know how they pleaded not guilty, homie, but here we go. Yeah, yeah, we finally got some justice in the building. It ain't just them, huh? It was some justice, y'all. They finally got some justice. Book that ass. Book that ass. Book that ass. And don't send them to no soft, sensitive need, y'all. Send them some bitches on in there with the real criminals. Take them to Chicago and throw them in the wrong tank, man. <laughs> that go crazy. Take them on in the shot town. Let the BDs, the BDs get a hold of that ass, man. Throw that ass in the wrong tank, man. That nigga crazy, man. <laughs> How the fuck you gonna say not guilty and it's all on video? The whole world seen you blowing a horn and fly, man. All on video. We seen this shit ourselves. We seen that man fly out the back of that damn van and bust his neck on the back of that damn door, man. We seen it with our own eyes. And you gonna say not guilty? You'd have been better off saying, Your Honor, this is a case where I, as a sworn in officer, I want to take full responsibility for my actions. And I want to take full responsibilities for my actions leading to the department. This is what you some bitches have been doing if you really want to flip the shit. Maybe the public would have kind of felt sorry for you. Ain't none of you some bitches came forth yet as an officer for your dirt and the shit that you do and been apologetic to the public, man, or to us as the people, by the people, to the people, man. So fuck them. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. Book them. Now, at that time, they didn't. They passed a legislation saying that all police transport vehicles must mandatory have seatbelts. So at that time, they did not have seatbelts. Ah, so 2022, they didn't have the mandatory, the mandatory law for it. Now, after that, they made it mandatory now. Yeah. Ain't that some shit? So that's a, probably another reason why he, uh, well, the video was the reason why he won the lawsuit, but the negligence of the, the police department not having safety belts in a transport vehicle. Because even, wow. even, though, even, though, even though you transporting alleged criminals, they still a passenger. That that transport vehicle is still a passenger vehicle, which right. fed, which fairly supposed to have safety belts. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because subject to an accident, someone yeah, can, a drunk driver could come along and hit that van. Anything can happen in between the time of you transporting to that jail facility, bro. Anything can happen. Yeah, I right, hear go that B roll right here. Mr. Diaz was speeding and came to a sudden stop to avoid an accident. As a result, Cox's head is slammed against the back of the van, which had no seatbelt. Firearm illegally. As they were transporting him to jail, he say Officer Oscar Diaz was speeding and came to a sudden stop to avoid an accident. As a result, Cox's head is slammed against the back of the van, which had no seatbelt. Hey, now, hey, oh. Uh, yeah. Take the B-roll out. Now, if you notice, when you seen, you seen how the van, he, he was driving, right? Yeah. And then you see how he smashed on the gas. Bro, that van was flying. It had to be going hella, hella fast. That dude was every bit about six foot and some change, wasn't he, uh, when they arrested him? Yeah. Looked like he was over 200 pounds, didn't he, uh? I'd say probably about 180. 180, 190? Yeah, 180, but still, though, the, the now, way... Hold, the way hold on, hold on. Yeah. Follow, follow, follow my theory. Then how the fuck do a nigga 180, six foot, six foot one or six foot one and a half, or at least six foot even, how do a nigga 180, six foot in handcuffs fly in the air like this? Boom, and then hit the door. Yeah. He didn't slide on no ground. He flew, Unc, like yeah, this. Flew. Boom, and hit that damn door. Damn, man. That was an impact, bro. It had to be a hella, hella impact to paralyze a tall-ass man like that, bro, at that height and that yeah. big level. You know big what I mean? Fact. Yeah. I mean, normally just think, we in handcuffs, an incident occurred, you could break your own damn fall, right, up. Huh? Yeah. He flew in the air, bro. So that means it was a sudden impact 
to put him in that position, which means when he stopped on them brakes, that officer had to be flying, hella flying, bro. How else could that man somersault in the air tall as he is? He didn't slide across the floor. He flew and then hit the ground. Boom! And hit the door. And it was stuck right there. Stuck he right roll, there. Oh, oh, oh. He didn't roll over. No, just the, the whole, from the whole impact, that shit just crushed him, bro. It, it, it's like it hit his brain and went all the way down to his spleen and just froze him right there on the spot. Damn, Damn. man. Man, man, man. So, well, the only good sunny side egg, sunny side up to this story, man, is the fact that he did get his justice. He got paid, and the officers are getting, they, they're going to get booked. The officers are going to get booked. But at the end of the day, this brother mentally or physically cannot never, ever enjoy his money. Somebody else is about to enjoy his money, man. The nurses. And the fake people around it, because I'm sure now all his family members is going to come around. I'm sure people are going to pop out the woodwork and talk about helping me, or they're going to be his in-house nurses. That's the, uh, that's the other killer part about it, huh? When you get that kind of money, here come all your cutthroat, woodwork-ass family members. Think about that one, huh? Yeah, man, that's, that shit crazy, because the, the wool is going to definitely come out. 45 mil? Oh man, they all oh he got all the help he need right now, man. The wool's coming out. Coming out, man. Coming out, bro. And uh last but not least, uh black uh black uh science center just uh, added a comment saying, Man, it seems like the drunk drivers are always the ones who survive. And that's true facts, man. I have to totally agree with motherfucker be sloppy drunk, car flipped over, somersaults in the air. Crash into a fire and the nigga fucking around and stumble out the car. But the passengers die. It never fails. It always seemed like that. So I had to be in agreement with him, man. <laughs> that's definitely how hey, that's definitely how it go. Hey, yeah. hey, and, and, and then the drunk drivers jump out. Oh, I don't know. Hey, hey, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I was I was only going 30. <laughs> Man, shit. Hey, man, listen, man. Salute to the brother, man, for his uh, accomplishment, man, as far as uh, the justice and um, him being able to receive his money, man. But that's that's about all, you know, the moral of this story because other than that, the brother ain't going to have an enjoyment life now. And you notice they damn sure didn't put him in jail for that gun. They didn't arrest him for the gun, huh? No, no, I don't think they did. You well, notice shit, that, huh? Yeah, yeah, I know that I peeped that. Yeah, they, didn't, they didn't say nothing about the arrest for the gun. They, they threw that out immediately when that lawsuit would hit their ass. Because sure. that's how they try to do you. Well, we'll drop the charge if you drop the suit. Drop my ass. I'm not dropping nothing. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Shit. Bring it on. I, I go do my little time. Bring it on then. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, listen, man, you've been struck by lightning, bro, man. Oh, hey, man, 2023, man, we're in the building, man. Spliff D, man, we're in the building, man, in conjunction with HTX Current News, Watch Satellite News, man. It's your favorite, favorite YouTube twins, man. And we over here getting it in, Jack. It's Friday, man. Y'all be safe out there. Y'all stay tuned. We be right back at you, man. Stay tuned. We finna hit you with some goofball shit, some laughter shit now, man. How do you go to jail? Or how do you be arrested and do the goofiest, the goofiest, dumbest shit you can possibly do, man? Y'all stay tuned, man. The Mighty W. Y'all see them damn horns, man, in collaboration. You see them damn horns, man. The W. Watch. We are taught to survive. And we out this bitch. Ah!